Estral. Talanga Valley Selection. I don't actually know if that's the whole name of it or not, if it's just Astral. Hey, everybody, my little kid, this is Cigar Blog. So, like I said, I don't know if that's actually supposed to be the full name, Astral Talanga Valley Selection, or if it's just Astral. Uh, either way, I got a nice little torpedo here. Uh, I'm not too sure what happened here. Um, all I know is I did not do this. <laughs> Somewhere between the factory and my humidor, somebody apparently uh, got a hankering for a chomp and decided to, well, do a number on mine for some reason. Anyway, go ahead and get this trimmed up. Hopefully, a little divot there won't end up impacting the smokeability of it. I don't think it will. Oh, yeah, okay, straight up scorch. There's a bit of sweet going on there. Yeah, sweet little cinnamon, little baking spice. When I say baking spice, I mean predominantly the cinnamon you know. Interesting, interesting. Also, I think it's been a while since I've had a torpedo. Since, uh, this one has a very strange feel in the mouth. He's got this nice big old cigar and he's, mm, 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 you know. Overall, though. Off to a pretty good start. I'm gonna go ahead and touch up whatever happened here and uh, get it down to the first inch. Also, I, I hope it's not getting like all kinds of wind noise. There's like a little bit of a breeze, and I, I swear it's going straight into the mic. Anyway, I'll get back to the first inch. All right, we're actually about a pretty good inch in here. Uh, obviously, my screwed up light. It's uh, not wanting to burn. I mean, it is wanting to burn nice and straight. Problem is, uh, you have to make sure you light it right. So don't do what I did. <laughs> anyway, so far, flavors have been um, interesting. There's actually quite a bit going on in this, which is a good thing. It means everybody's going to get a little something different out of it. Straight away, I'm getting, uh, I want to say, a sweet kind of cinnamon, a little clean tobacco. I kind of want to say maybe a touch of earthiness, maybe, maybe, maybe. Every so often there seems to be a little bit of bitter to balance out the sweet, and occasionally, occasionally I want to say maybe a slight fruity note. I'm not entirely sure because we're just like, just starting, but uh, yeah, it'll be interesting to see how this gets by the halfway point. Also, seeing as how it's a decent sunny day, I'm probably going to be in the uh, middle of the field in the middle of nowhere with a uh, kind of unfamiliar background because for whatever reason, the sun comes out and it's not windy or blowing snow, everybody goes for a walk, walks the dog, rides the bike, three times a day. So, uh, yeah, kind of makes it a little annoying trying to film a video because everybody's out here all at once. Anyway, I'm going to go ahead and uh, get this down to the halfway point. Make sure I can figure out where the halfway point is. It looks pretty good right about there. Okay. I'm gonna get this down to the halfway point and uh, see if anything wakes up or changes or does something interesting. I think we're at a pretty good halfway point here. <clears throat> so far, I'm noticing there's a lot going on in this. There's a bit of sweet, a bit of earthy, a bit of cinnamon. Every so often in the retro hill, I get kind of an almost fruity note, which I wanna see is a little plum-like, maybe? Point blank. Uh, like I said, there's a lot going on in this, so I'm pretty sure everybody's going to be keyed a little different and getting a little bit uh, more of one thing or another, or possibly know something I didn't. That's kind of one of the neat things about these is that uh, cigars like this, they're actually interesting to smoke because you're constantly looking for, you know, what am I to get, what am I flavor, what am I tasting out of this, you know? Yeah, there's a very definite sweetness that is kind of building. So far, interesting. The only real issue that I've been having, I don't know if this is probably because, it's probably because of my light, or it could be I'm not paying attention to my storage, 
or I'm just like daydreaming and not smoking. <laughs> it keeps kind of feeling like it's wanting to go out, so I'm thinking that's probably me. Because Astral is one of those brands that should be top tier construction. Which means, they've been around long enough, they're kind of expensive enough, they should know what they're doing. And I'm pretty sure they do. But it's just my experience, uh, I've had to do a couple of touch-ups here and there, and I really haven't had to relight, thankfully. But, uh, I think maybe I just need to fire it up a little bit more. Because <laughs> so it, I've had a couple of cigars that have been kind of wanting to die on me. So a couple of cigars, and it probably tells me that I'm doing something wrong. Anyway, I'm going to get this down to the nub, see if anything, uh, intensifies, changes, whatever. We'll see how it goes from there. Okay, getting down to the point of uh, burning fingers. This is also the point where the flavor starts to wash out and you just get hot tobacco. But uh, I noticed, at the halfway point, every so often in the retro hill, I get something that had a very, very caramel note. Which is interesting. Far, definitely a uh, particularly interesting stick to smoke. You get a little sweet, a little bitter, a little earthy, clean tobacco, a touch of cinnamon, occasionally a little bit of fruitiness, and every so often, if you're lucky, you get a little bit of caramel note. Very interesting, so I'm pretty sure everybody's gonna end up having a little bit different experience with this one. Drink pairings, coffee, whiskey, pretty standard fare for that. Price. I, I got it as a bundle, so don't even ask. <laughs> I know the Astrals can be uh, a little on the uh, higher end affordable, shall we say. As in, you're probably going to end up paying at least over 100 bucks, if not a little bit more than that. But uh, I haven't actually priced these myself. And even then, every state's going to be a little different. But if you can find them for a decent price, it's not going to break the bank, definitely check them out. Pretty sure everybody's gonna have a slightly different experience. I know I've got a little bit of a hair thing going with crazy. Sorry about that. But uh, yeah, by all means, check it out. Interesting, interesting cigar. Whew, getting a little warm out here. Anyway, not much else to say. Other than if you like this video or any other video, like, subscribe, leave a comment, let me know if you had a different experience. Beyond that, check out my Twitch channel. Sunday to Friday night, 10 p.m. to 2 a.m. If you can't make it live, it will be on YouTube eventually, and uh, eventually I will end up remembering to put a link to that on the main page, as well as a link to a new project that I'm kind of working working up for trying to figure out how to pencil in with a person I co-stream with. It's a split personality. She usually shows up Wednesdays and Thursdays on the uh, actual Twitch channel. But uh, we're looking at a little bit of a podcast kind of thing. VTubed, because why not? Having a little fun, you know? As far as when we're actually planning on doing that, I do not know. We're still trying to hammer out details. Anyway, that's pretty much it for this. I'll see you next time.